Welcome to Engineering Python. This is a Python programming course for engineers. In this video, I will briefly talk about Python functions, modules, and programs. We will have a more detailed discussion about functions in another video later. In the last video, we saw that we could run multiple statements in one cell in Jupyter Notebook. We can also define a function to enclose multiple statements. The first line tells Python we are defining a new function called hello. It takes no parameters. There is nothing inside the parentheses. Note that this line ends with a colon. The next two statements print hello and word in two different lines. Note that they are indented with four spaces to show that they are a part of the hello function. After the function is defined, we can run these two lines of code by referring to the function name hello followed by a pair of parentheses. Function definitions can have changeable parts called parameters. They are placed inside the parentheses following the function's name in the first line and used in the body of the function. For example, this time we define a function hello with two parameters, first name and last name. This function will print hello, comma, then it prints the first name and the last name. Later we can call this function. We need to pass two actual parameters for first name and last name. These are called arguments. Note the difference between parameters and arguments. A parameter is a variable in a function definition. When a function is called, the arguments are the actual data we assign to the function's parameters. They are matched by position. So Jen is given to first name and Smith is given to last name. This is the output. An advantage of using functions is that we don't have to repeatedly write these two lines again and again. Later, if we want to say hello to Tom Jones, we can just call the function with different arguments like this. Now let's talk about Python programs. Programs are usually composed of functions, variables, and data. We can save many reusable functions as a module on the hard drive so they can be used again later. Basically, a module is a program consisting of Python code. In Python, the word programs and modules can be used interchangeably. We can edit Python programs and modules in Jupyter Notebook directly. Let's use temperature converter the pi as an example. Click this file and open it in the Jupyter editor. We use a .py extension to indicate it's a Python program. Text is following the hashtag or the pound sign and code comments. They are intended for human readers and Python ignores comments when a program is run. This is a brief description of what this program does. This program contains three functions. C2F converts the temperature from Celsius C to Fahrenheit F using this formula. F2C converts the temperature from Fahrenheit F to Celsius C using this formula. These two functions are used later in another function named main. The main function first prints two messages. It gives the user two options. If you want to convert from degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit, then press 1. If it's the other way around, press 2. Then it takes the user's input and gives it to a variable named choice. The if, l if, else statement controls the flow of the program. The body of each branch is identified through further indentation. If the choice is 1, then the program will ask the user to input the temperature in Celsius and output the results in Fahrenheit. If it's 2, then the program will ask the user to input the temperature in Fahrenheit and output the results in Celsius. If the user typed in something else, the program will remind the user that this is not a valid choice. This program is fairly short and could have been written without the main function. The use of main is customary, not mandatory. This last line is not a part of any function definition. It is the starting point of the program. This line calls the main function, which will be executed line by line. 
Later, if we call another function here, the main function will be paused, and we start to execute the other function until it's finished. After that, the rest of the main function will be executed until the main function is finished. At this point, the entire program is finished. You can try to make changes to this program. Make sure you save it after you're done. Now let's get back to the notebook. You can run this program using this magic. Run temperature converter.py. I enter my choice 1 because I want to convert from degree C to degree F. The temperature is 100 degrees C, which is the boiling point of water. The temperature is 212 degrees F. Let's run this program again. This time my choice is 2. Enter the temperature in degrees F, 212. The temperature is 100 degrees C. Okay, that was a brief introduction to functions, modules, and programs. The course materials are available on YouTube and GitHub. You can watch the course videos in sequence. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. I'm Yong Wang. Thanks for watching.